That's a poo, that's a poo. That's a poo. Heru nefer. Heru nefer. It's your brother, Saban Poo Kamut, here with you, coming live, direct, getting ready to get our session going for today. So we'll get to our adumbration in just a moment. Just want to say it's a beautiful day. Reminder for you to think about getting the information to start with our Spring Equinox Community Fast. All the information is available on our link tree. And you can get that in the either the description down below. I'll make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get our latest videos as well. Now, on to the adumbration. All right, so as we get it in, what we want to remember is we're going to start off, as usual, with our shiasha. Then we'll get into a brief version of the all-over body check-in. We'll get to some Asar stance. We're going to get our 12 breaths of Asar stance in. And remember, our goal is to build up to 20 minutes at one time in Asar stance. So with these 12 breaths are just a reminder that we're supposed to really practice that daily. Right, and I'll get into what the needs and things are for that. But we'll be on a little bit later today talking about the benefits of the fast and what you need and why you want to, should you want to get engaged and get your body together. All right. After that, we're going to get into some Qigong, of course, medical, of course, martial, and of course, healing. And then... We're going to get into the short form. We'll do the lunar cycle because we're right at the tail end of the full moon. So we want to just ride that out on this last day. It's probably close. And I say probably because the moon still may be starting to look like it's waning a little bit. And that's okay. We'll get this last night and we'll get it in because we've been apart from one another. And so we'll just do it. You know, we don't normally, but today because we're so close. We'll get that full moon cycle in along with the short form to the right. And then we'll get into the wisdom from the sages of the ages. Because we're going to spend this month with you all seeing how you're doing your homework. If you're still doing the beginner push-ups up to nine, we're doing the 25 second with the standard push-up position and we're holding it there. So that when we come back in April... I'll be able to introduce some of the sama slash yoga positions so that we'll begin moving. And this is again after the fast because the body will be, have become stronger and more limber during the fast. These things are all intertwined and intersected. And it's a way for us to get a good jump start on the rest of the year. All right. So, all right. Enough talking. Let's get to it. What we got here? <laughs> I'm just trying to be able to see better. Awesome, sauce. <laughs> it's just me. All right, we'll get it in. All right. So we're going to bow in. We say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Excellent, we get our bodies in position. Bring those hands up, shift the weight to the right. You're gonna pick up that left foot. I'm picking it higher. There you go. Then you change direction. Bend down on the heel, shoulders width, with the toes. All the toes, now just a big toe. Work your way down, all the way to the pinky toe. All right. Shift the weight to that left leg. And again, draw a circle with the toes. Change direction. Sit it down here first. Wiggle the toes, the toes up. Start right, with the big toe by itself. Work your way down, second toe, all the way down to the pinky toe. And again, hugely important, y'all. Keep these hands up. And 
to see your toes moving. Let's put these hands down now. Even if, starting with the shoulder, even if it's not moving today, see it move. Over time, in repetition, your body will begin to respond to you. All right, let's take it to the front. And switch shoulders. And we head to the front. All right, and now we start with that left hand. Taking it around full extension, bring it up so the palm is raised, fingers extended. Best you can, want full range of motion as much as you can get. Check yourself. Change direction. And we're going to switch hands. Oh, wait. Wiggle the fingers. My bad. One at a time. Same with the hands. If you don't do this, this is an ability you can lose also. You got to keep that communication with all parts of the body open. Turn the hand. That's the purpose for this. Other direction. Wiggle the fingers. Then one at a time. All right, hands at the sides. Take the head left to right. All right, looking over that left shoulder, take the chin down and up. Looking over your right shoulder, looking the chin up and down. Front and center, and then take the chin down and up. And take the head around in a circle. And on your next in-breath, take the head around the opposite direction. The next in breath, bring the head right back to front and center. All right, shake it out. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Right, so we'll get in the Wuchi position. And from here, you want to do, you going to step into feet parallel, which is where many of us are, and that's okay. 
The hip flexors won't allow it. All right, so here we are, bring the hands into pyramid hands. Step, either position. Get the body ready, 50-50. Sit down on those legs. Then the hands into the side stance position and begin. Pyramid hands. Dropping the left hand. Extending the right. Tracing the Tai Chi diagram. Close it here. Back to front and center. Bring the left hand into the chest. Pyramid hands. Shifting all the way to the right and slide the left foot into Uchi. We'll drop the hands, shake it out. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width. We'll start with the gathering.
All right, variation. Breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. In. In some more. In some more. Fill up. Turn to your left. Turn to your right. Front and center. Exhale. Shake it up. Keep your left shoulders width into the cow position. Two breaths. Palms facing forward. Two breaths. Shift the weight, pivot. Four breaths in the dua position. Stepping back and dropping the arms. All right. You're going to breathe in, palms facing you. You're going to exhale if the arms drop. Inhale, palms facing you. Exhale if the arms drop. Inhale, palms facing out. Let the arms drop. One more time. Inhale, palms facing out. Let the arms drop. All right. Now we're going to rotate, tap the chest and the kidneys in the back. Then gently come down the front of the body, staying with the kidneys. Then work your way back up. All right, and let us stop. Um, all right. Today we're going to do a little Tai Chi walk. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Hands in ready position. We'll shift the weight and begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, use whatever space you have. Exhale. Well, I got three steps of space and I'm turning around. You got a little bit more, go ahead and work with it. That's all right. Get your hands ready and begin. Take it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Excellent. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Once you finish your movement through your space with your Tai Chi walk, remember, it's important you get the hands up here, okay? Like we talked about, you want these hands up, protecting the face. Working on building strength in the shoulders and the support structures. So it's not here. Here, nice and dynamic relaxation. All right. Now that we're here, feet parallel, shoulders width. We're going to do the lunar cycle of the short form to the right. Here we go. Sink it down and begin. Sun rises.
grasping the bird's tail and stroking it, and to roll the ball. Roll back. Press. And push. Sinking back, changing direction. Sunrises over the mountain and sunsets. One more time, sunrises. And be careful not to show your palms. Keep it nice and easy. Shake it out. All right, here we get into the short form. A little short form, we're gonna start with feet parallel, shoulders width. Sinking down, sunrises. All right, find a comfortable seat. Going to place your right hand, thumb and index finger touching on your lap, palm up. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Again, this is our right hand. Take your left hand, like so, thumb, Blocking off the left nostril, middle and index finger in the center of the forehead. We're going to do our alternate breathing, if you haven't done it in a little while. All right, get your body ready so we can do it. And here we go. Breathe again. Out. In. Out. In, out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Release. Switching hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out. In, out, in, out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. And release. Both hands, thumb and index finger touching. Palms up, breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Chin down. And release. All right. Now we're going to get to the wisdom from the sages of the ages. Now, bringing a lot of these different things back because we're headed into the fast. So that's what we're getting with some of these different movements. So we're bringing in a lot of these different traditions, uh, not traditions, but tools and techniques that we may not have done in a while. I want to get your body prepared for the fast so that as we begin to get back into the fast, you're going to you have all of these tools at your disposal. All right. Here we go with the wisdom from the sages of the ages, the essence of Tai Chi Chuan, the literary tradition. The mind and breath must change agilely. Then there is an excellence of roundness and smoothness. This is called the change of substantial and insubstantial. The mind is the commander, the breath the flag, and the waist the banner. The waist is like the axle and the breath is like the wheel. The breath is always nurtured without harm. Let the breath move as in a pearl with nine passages without breaks. So there is no part of the body it cannot reach. In moving, the breath sticks to the back and permeates the spine. All right, now we get to the teachings of Ptah Hatep. Oldest book in the world. Here we go. Do not be proud and arrogant with your knowledge. Consult and converse with the ignorant and the wise, for the limits of art are not reached. No artist ever possesses that perfection to which they should aspire. Good speech, or medune fair, is more hidden than greenstone yet it may be found among maids at the grindstones. The Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu. Return to innocence. Forswear wisdom and discard knowledge, and the people will gain a hundredfold. Forswear benevolence, discard righteousness, and the people will recover filial and parental love. Force swear skill, discard profit, and thieves and robbers will not appear. These three steps are inadequate for culture. They therefore have to encompass some others, such as display plainness, embrace simplicity, reduce selfishness, and decrease desires. All right. From wisdom from the sages of the ages. Check out our link tree, y'all. We have some things coming up, some things happening beyond the spring equinox community fast. Check it out. It has a calendar, lots of different things going on. Lots of important events, lots of things that may raise questions in the calendar. Please, if you're going to join the fast, read the announcement about the fast. Read the little short pamphlet about the fast. It's very different than what you may experience. And should you follow the instructions, you won't have any, shouldn't have any health issues. We've been working on doing this for over 30 years in terms of our doing this fast with community. We're about to bring it back to the community in general, not just these online communities. So we'll begin doing some of these, hopefully with a remote broadcast from a community spot where we'll even, even they'll take in questions remote and in person so you can get a feel for what this looks like as we move in closer towards the summer. Hopefully that works out. And then we'll be talking with everyone soon. So for now, let's bow out. We say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Ashe. Homage to the the ancestors, and again, 
respect to the eternal witnesses of the earth and sky. I bid you Hatep, Ankh Ujjasana, peace, life, health, and strength. Amen Reina Sutna Chair, Latin Reina Manak, the hidden reveal, re, rules, the revealed, the revealed rules, life. That's a cool.